Hey, in this video I will show you how to recreate this monochrome shading style with freestyle lines in Eevee. Load in your character and change its pose to something you like. Then add in an HDRI. For the material, add in a shader to RGB node with a color ramp set to constant. By the way, this is Eevee only. Play around with the settings, like the color ramp and mapping values of the HDRI. You can also change the HDRI if you don't like the lighting. When you are satisfied with your result, enable freestyle in the render properties tab. By the way, I added a displacement modifier on my model to make its surface more uneven, so the freestyle lines look more sketched. After that, I add assets like this magazine. I used the magazine cover I found on Google. Make sure to convert the texture to black and white with a color ramp set to constant. Play around with the UVs until you are satisfied. When done, add in a shader to RGB node with a color ramp. You already know this now. I also added a cigarette, which is simply a cylinder with smooth shading. For the cigarette tip line, you can add in a loop cut and mark it as a freestyle edge using Ctrl E. Remember to enable edge mark in the freestyle tab. For the cigarette smoke, I just used a texture I found on Google. Import it as a plane into Blender and place it accordingly. Then in the shader tab, connect the image texture to a constant color ramp. This will control the size of the smoke. We can use the color ramp as a mask, just plug it into a mix shader with a transparent and a white RGB node like here. Also, when the edges in the image plane are weirdly white, you can add in loop cuts and delete these weird outer white edges. Now, you probably realize that the edges of the image plane are rendered as freestyle edges. You can solve that by assigning the objects, which shall have the same freestyle lines, to the same collection. In the freestyle line set menu, under the selection by tab, click collection, then assign the collection you want to have the desired line set. That way, you can also assign thinner lines to the objects, like I did here with the goggles. By the way, you can select parts of the mesh you want to remain white, like the glasses of the goggles, by assigning white materials to them. Lastly, to get your freestyle lines to look more like they are drawn, you can add in a noise modifier under the thickness tab of the freestyle line style menu. Personally, an amplitude of 2 with a period of 25 and an influence of 0.4 are the numbers I always use. So yeah, this is how you do this shading style, um, I don't know, like or something. Would be nice.